estimated 9% of the adult global population is diabetic. 15% of diabetic patients develop holes in their feet called ulcers. In 2010, there were 73,000 non-traumatic lower limb amputations of adult diabetics. 84% of them were preceded by ulcers. Tough skin patches called calluses are linked to ulcer formations. In diabetic patients, these calluses add extra pressure to the tissue underneath them. Eventually, the tissue is damaged by the force, begins to bleed, and gives way to an ulcer. Research shows that regularly removing calluses helps prevent ulcer formation. But common household callus removers like pumice stones and chemical removers are actually unsafe for diabetics. Diabetes often comes with decreased blood flow to the feet, leaving patients vulnerable to serious infection. The only safe method is having a doctor use a metal scalpel to remove calluses every three to four weeks. It is very hard to motivate patients to visit the doctor once a year, let alone once a month. Diabetics need a safe, at-home callus remover. My proposed solution is a remover that looks like an electric razor. It specifically targets only callus tissue and uses sanitary metal components to lightly shave down calluses. How can a device distinguish callus from healthy tissue? That's a trade secret. I'll be happy to tell you about it once I finish filing my patent. In general, there are chemical differences between callus and healthy tissue that my technology recognizes. 9% of the adult world population, about 218 million people, are diabetic and at risk for ulcers and amputations. My technology is not a wish, but a real scientifically-funded solution for millions of people.